Hey guys, 12th Fret Media, we're here with Mike at the Martin Guitar Company, and he's got a new short scale bass he wants to show us here at NOM 2023. Mike, what do you got for us? Yeah, so uh, new to the Martin lineup, we have a uh, 24 inch short scale bass. We have it in uh, four different options. We have a, uh, a triple O cutaway. We have a dreadnought, and it comes in a clear top and also a sunburst. And the nice thing about this is the strings that we uh, laced up on this bass, right? It's a short scale bass. It's got 60 pounds of set tension. So it's gonna be really nice. I mean, if there's a, such a thing as a, uh, a bass for guitar players, this is definitely the one. So price point is $749 for all the options. Yeah, with electronics, Fishman Electronics. So they, we finesse the electronics to uh, really bring out the nuances of the bass. Awesome. And it's so fun. It's. Sounds great. So that's going to be available from Martin Guitars. These 24 short scale acoustic basses. Yep. Short scale, you're going to get that nice, low, deep, rich tone. New to the standard series from Martin Guitar, we have uh, a D18 and a D28 platform in satin finish. Majority of the time, they always come in full gloss. These are now satin. They're going to be $400 price point difference. It's going to be lower. So start, starting off with this D18, satin it's got all the same appointments as a flagship d18 um, the only difference is obviously it doesn't have full gloss it's just a satin finish and it comes in three different options so you have the d18 satin d18 street legend so this is a digital microburst application which is a mamaki printed top Again, all the same appointments as the standard D18, but it has wear patterns from our uh, historical pieces that we pull from our museum. And you can see it has also a satin aged pickguard and aged open gear tuning machines. And that one specifically, it looks like it has some wear in Terramox reminiscent of Trigger, which Willie Nelson's was also was started on a Martin guitar as well. Absolutely. Yeah, so D18s historically are always more well-worn than a D28. Um, here's our D28 Street Legend, and you can see the wear pattern on this compared to the D18. Again, all the same appointments as our flagship D28 and D18, just in a satin finish, price point appropriate, $400 cheaper than the flagship D18, D28. Awesome. These are some wonderful guitars right here at Martin & Company. So if you're looking out beginner, intermediate, even professional level, these are going to get the job done. Guys, we're here with uh, Thomas, President and CEO of Martin Guitars, and he's got a very special instrument to tell us about. Thomas, what do we have here today? Well, we have a CEO 10 model. Martin had a CEO series that started in the 1990s. Um, every model is about... Uh, uh, reflecting the vision of the CEO. I'm the CEO, so Chris asked me to design this one. What is it? Uh, it's a triple O, 14 fret. It has Guatemalan rosewood uh, sides, back, very beautiful grain. Also has Guatemalan rosewood fingerboard and a head plate. So you see different tones, all beautiful. Now the inlays, it has a number of historic inlays. Floral design from a 1930 OM. 45 Deluxe, so based on that, it has a Foden style fingerboard inlay, uh, which is less common. Very often you see snowflakes inlays, right? This one is Foden. Now, Martin had custom shop models with William Foden, late 19th century, early 20th century, special design collaboration with him. And then the torch and the headstock uh, used on many uh, late 19th century, early 20th century models. So we thought this uh, plays homage to Martin. And then you have flamed maple binding around the body, the uh, fingerboard, headstock. Um, so here you go, CEO 10. It's limited to 100 units. Uh, each will be signed by me. And we're very excited about it.
That's a definitely a beautiful guitar, and thank you very much for showing it to us. So if you're interested in one of these, get them while you can. Only 100, like you said. Want to describe what's on the back? Oh, well, I could. So these, this is um, the butterfly. Yep, yep, is indicative of Hawaii. So it's a Kamehameha butterfly, a red honey creeper, and uh, plumera plants. So this was a design that was chosen after several sketches and um, watercolor studies, and that's what they went with. So it's carefully painted on top, very similar to the rabbit, it's, but it the, has a different top uh, sheen to it, where that has a UV lacquer sprayed on top. So, but, that's a sad finish. Robert has, how many, how many instruments have you created with Martin? over the years. Oh my gosh. Uh, I have a room full of, of guitars. <laughs> As everyone play. should. <laughs> <laughs> so probably Again. 12, 15 yeah. guitars. Robert is Beautiful. Uh, that Sinker Mahogany U. Here are the rabbit. And then we're gonna go over here to our OM Biosphere. Do you want me to come along? It's not lead to, to what Martin's about. It's not just about using sustainable products on our instruments. It's about the workplace. It's, you know, if you can carpool to work with the coworkers to reduce carbon footprint, hybrid work schedule has actually helped out with that in and of itself. And you can see our commitment to sustainability. This is the second instrument that Robert has designed. Last year it was a 00L Earth. This is the OM Biosphere. Again, he, he starts off with this blank canvas, hand paints it, we recreate it, take that photo, and then we digital microburst application through our Mamaki printer. This guitar is 100% FSC certified, 100% plastic free, comes with a hemp soft shell case, and from that point, I'm gonna give it to Robert so he can explain of course. This is for the OM Biosphere. Well, and as Mike said, so as we were doing the uh, 00L Earth, Chris Martin and I were discussing what the next Earth guitar would be in some sense. So we suggested that maybe we should start deep diving into biospheres and, and uh, ecosystems within the planet. And so we chose, first of all, uh, like the coral reef and how important that is to support and preserve because, you know, it protects the coastlines, but it creates an environment for fish to thrive and all of that. So um, I did have an experience of, of doing a uh, very quick snorkel dive at a, a, a coral reef state park in Florida in Key, West, in Key Largo. And that, uh, not that they sent me down to do that, to paint the guitar, but I've had that experience and I translated that into this sort of this fantasy uh, guitar design. And it's a beautiful translation. I mean, it's very vivid colors, so much detail on this instrument right here. So I mean, what I also tried to do, and part of the, the, uh, the suggestion of the guitar is to paint it so that it looks good hanging up or when you're playing it. So there's this curvature of this design. Beautiful piece of work right here at Martin, and thank you very much, sir. Like, what you do is amazing.